name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is uh, 19 chapter Roots Follow Naomi. I'm going to home, said Naomi. Naomi moved to Moab with her husband and her two sons long time ago. There were a big famine <coughs> in her hometown, Bethlehem. Naomi became old. Her husband and two sons died. Naomi was living with her daughters-in-law. I'm going back to my people, said Naomi. So Naomi came. So Naomi. Long ago, there was a big famine in her in Bethlehem. So Naomi and his husbands all has came to another place and like his husband and sons all died there. I'm going with you. I will go wherever you go. My home is your home. Your God will be my God, said Ruth, the second daughter-in-law. Ruth came to Bethlehem with Naomi. So, so they were going to follow Naomi, but Naomi would say, like, stay home, this is your home. So, first daughter-in-law stayed at home, and second daughter-in-law, Ruth, came to Bethlehem with Naomi. Ruth had to prepare food for Naomi. It was a harvest time in Bethlehem. Ruth gathered grains on Burly filled and ate with Naomi. So, mm, Ruth and Naomi has came to Bethlehem, and like Ruth have to like prepare food for Naomi, and like he she have to do the works for and like. If she have to do like those things, but like Ruth followed Naomi, and it was the harvest time in Bethlehem, like in Israel. Bethlehem, like they actually like doesn't pick up if the grains are fall down when they're carrying something. And like it does like just custom like for poor people. Boaz on the light land she takes good care of her mother in law. Ruth must be a good woman, thought Boaz. Roots gathered grain diligently. Boaz helped Roots gather more grains. He helped Roots eat with other workers com comfortably. <laughs> comfortably. So Boaz saw. Ruth that picking up the grains for her mother-in-law, so he thought he, she will like also like, praise God and she's a good woman, so like he helped Ruth to eat with other worker workers, 
Boaz was kind, rich man. Naomi said to Ruth, in Israel, like tradition, widows are to marry to the closest relative. Boaz is the closest relative, and he likes you. Why don't you marry him? As Naomi said, Boaz and Ruth got married. So like, Naomi and Ruth has got. Oh, sorry. Boaz and Ruth has got married. God gave Ruth a very special gift, a baby boy, Obed. Grandmother Naomi with Ruth were very, really happy. God blessed Ruth and Boaz. Twenty chapter, God's man Samuel. Hannah was crying and praying in the temple. She didn't have any children. Her husband Elaka was a loving husband, but Elaka's other wife, Pen, no, was curly to Hannah. Help me, God, give me a child. If you let me have a baby boy. I will offer him to you. So like Hannah was crying, and she was sad because Ella, husband Ella, was a loving husband, but another wife was calling to Hannah because she didn't have any baby. Priest of the temple, Eli saw Hannah was drunk. Hannah, you have to quit drinking. Hannah said to Eli, "I am not drunk. I'm praying because I am so sad." The priest said to Hannah, "Go in peace. God will answer your prayer." Hannah was not sad anymore. God really gave her a son. Hannah was very happy. Sorry, she named him Samuel. Samuel means God answered prayer. So God has gave Hannah a baby boy. When Samuel was a little boy, Hannah took Samuel to the temple. I will give this child to God. Can you help to? Can you help him to serve God? Yes, I will help him," said Eli, the priest. Hannah thanked God for Samuel. So, really, Hannah gave Samuel to God. He helped to. He helped Eli to serve God. Samuel lived in the temple. He helped Eli and served God. Samuel obeyed God. He made God happy. He made God and people happy. Hannah and Elkanah came to the temple to worship God. Hannah brought a jacket for Samuel. They wanted Eli to bless them. Bless us with more children. Bless us with more children. Olive prayed for them. God bless Hannah and three sons and two daughters. Samuel served God in the temple. He heard the voice calling him, calling him. Samuel, Samuel. God was calling Samuel. God spoke to Samuel. Everything God said happened. Samuel gave message to the people of Israelites. Israel. He was a special prophet of God. 
Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time? I'll read another good story. Now, let's see you next time. Bye.